TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability You've made a good start by drawing a single square but suppose you want to draw lots of them perhaps creating a pattern like this In this particular pattern 24 squares have been drawn each of them rotated slightly from the previous one going round to form a complete circle To achieve this in Sense a loop can be nested inside a loop the square drawing script can be amended to do this quite easily. Open project 5 and then resave it, adding underscore SOL to the end of the name. Take a new repeat block from the control palette and drag it over the existing repeat block in your script. You'll see the jaws of the new repeat block expand to include the existing one. Release the mouse button change the input value of the new repeat block to 24. Now drag a new turn clockwise block from the motion palette and place it between the lower jaws of the two repeat blocks like this. Ensure its input value is 15. Your full script should look like this. Save your project and then run your program. Can you work out what's happening? Rerun your program first in slow motion and then single stepping through it. Watch the blocks being highlighted as they're executed to see the effects of both the inner and the outer repeat block. Here's another tip. Execution of a program can be halted by clicking on the stop button next to the green flag button. Alternatively, you can double click on the executing script. This can be useful if you want to curtail a program before it finishes. The program you've just completed draws 24 squares, all slightly offset from each other, in such a way as to describe a complete circle. Next you'll see how easy it is to extend this program in two ways. Firstly, to draw a different kind of regular polygon, a triangle or a hexagon for example, instead of a square, and secondly, to draw a different number of regular polygons, still describing a complete circle. For example, here's a pattern made with 40 regular hexagons. So, to extend the program you'll need to think about shapes and angles. In the last video I asked you to have a go at a challenge to amend the square drawing script to draw other regular sided shapes such as a pentagon, an octagon and an equilateral triangle. In fact, any regular sided shape can be drawn in sense if you know or can work out the angle you need to make the pointer turn at the end of each side and of course the number of sides. As you already know, the turn needed for a square is 90 and the number of sides or repeats is 4. To work out the turn angle needed at the end of each side, the rule is divide the number of degrees in a complete turn, 360, by the number of sides. This could be written in a shorter form like this. So, if you've amended the script to make a hexagon in the previous challenge, the values you would have used were 60 degrees for the turn and 6 for the repeats, as this diagram shows. Open the next project, project 6, and resave it with the underscore SOL at the end and see if you can amend the script so that the inner loop draws the correct number of sides for a hexagon and after each side is drawn the pointer is rotated the correct number of degrees ready to draw the next side of the hexagon. Save your project. When you run the program now the resulting drawing should look like this. Next, experiment by amending your program to draw some different polygons. Try three sides for a triangle or five sides for a pentagon but don't go beyond ten sides yet. Remember each time you need to change both the number of sides and the angle between adjacent sides. You will need to use this rule, 360 divided by the number of sides, to calculate the angle. If the angle is not a whole number, then enter it correct to two decimal places. The larger the number of sides on your polygons, the larger the shape overall. You might like to experiment and see what happens with zero, one or two sides. This results in drawings involving shapes with more than 10 sides becoming distorted as the pointer is instructed to go beyond the edges of the stage. 
try this. There are various ways to handle this and you'll return to this issue later, but for now simply restrict yourself to polygons with no more than 10 sides. In the next video we'll look at changing the number of polygons in the pattern drawn. As a challenge, can you work out how to make a pattern with say 40 hexagons or 20 pentagons? but also ensure that the offset angle between the repeat blocks will draw one full rotation of a circle with the required number of chosen polygons. Try this by experimenting for yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.